What's up guys, Ted from Nerd Immersion here, and I am back with another Kickstarter Spotlight. This time we have Treasure Decks for 5th Edition. Only $12, that is the name. So, what is this? This is 5 decks of cards, uh, 52 decks, of you know, size of a playing card deck. And they are treasure to give out to your players. Um, designed in the challenge rating groups of 1 to 4, 5 to 8, 9 to 12, 13 to 16, and 17 to 20. Uh, it, I don't know, well, let's take a look through and we'll see exactly, uh, $12, one deck of your choice, $23, two decks, $33, three decks, $42 is four decks, $50 is five decks, and then $90 is 10 decks, but we're going to back up and we'll see what we got here. So, this collection, uh, of decks was created for fifth edition because that's what everybody's pl they're playing right now. Treasure decks 1 through 4 is perfect for a beginning party. It contains items such as wealth, gems, coins, armor, and weapons uh, for low levels, low level spell scrolls. Uh, this deck 5 to 8 contains much more. 9 to 12 is a rare magical level. 13 to 16 is a very rare magical level. And 17 to 20 is the legendary magical level. So we can see here's a 1 to 4 kind of this little art on the one side. And then it's all based off of a D12. So on 1 to 6 they get... A single large coin worth seven gold and four silver, a scuffed climber's kit, and a rotted and frayed length of rope, a light crossbow, a quiver of bolts, and 50 feet of silk rope, or a pair of antlers, each carved with two sets of runes, and it is, uh, they each function, you know, two druid spell scrolls. Here's the Ford Fire 5 to 8. We've got uh, some gold, a couple of character uh, spells, uh, a maul, a healing potion, a potion of poison, and a bag of tricks. 9 to 12, we've got a belt of dwarven kind, potion of frost giant strength, bag of holding, pearl power, and winged boots. Not a bad little score in the middle there. And 13 to 16, we've got glamour studded leather, plus two weapon, ring of the ram, uh, potion of superior healing, eighth level spell scroll, three grand in, uh, in gold pieces, and then the final 17 to 20. A ton, 220 platinum pieces, 5,000 gold, or 4,400 gold. Cloak of the Bat, an 8th level Warlock Spell Scroll, Manual of Bodily Health, or a Holy Avenger. They're $12 for each, and that is pretty much it. Uh, the What would you get in the 10 decks of your choice? Get two sets of all five. Um, make your selection. I don't know why you would want one of each, but $50 will get you all five decks. Or, you know, essentially you tick down slowly as you get to smaller amounts of decks. This is by Nord Games. They have done several other Kickstarters in the past. Let's go take a look at what they've done. I remember seeing some of these. I don't know if I actually did any videos on them. We'll go. Oh, um, some of these I do remember. So, Fantasy RPG Bookmarks. This I didn't see, but that could be interesting. I remember hearing about this. Skullduggery for 5e. Uh, 200 pages of excellent NPCs and pre-built characters. Um, the critical hit, critical miss decks. I don't know how I missed this, but I might be picking these up. Um, I do remember the Ultimate Bestiary, Revenge of the Horde. Well, when this was coming out, I was going to end up doing a review on this, but I didn't get a chance to. And then Dungeon Tiles uh, for relatively cheap. I believe we can go to their website and pick up some of these things. What were the bookmarks? Oh. Oh, they were kind of just to dictate where classes and items and things were. Um, okay, let's go to critical hit decks. And we can, I think we can, which this I want to say, I just want to point out as somebody who does a lot of Kickstarter stuff, it's really nice when they've gotten to the point where they were successful enough and then you can go purchase the things after the fact because I have had situations where uh, you pick up something awesome that you really like, and it's just, that's it. It's gone forever. It's not purchasable by anybody else. So we can get the critical fail deck, the critical hit deck for dungeon masters or GMs, the critical hit deck for players, uh, the fantasy, the bookmarks for GMs and players, and then the luck deck here for $15 each on their website. I may be picking some of these up, but... Uh... Anyway, guys, I just want to do a quick spotlight on the treasure deck collection. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, it makes it easy. It, the only potential problem I see with you as the DM using these is you don't know what you're giving your players. Obviously, if you have a specific magic item or something that the party needs to get, put it there and let them find it. 
But if you really just were like, uh, I don't really know what to give these guys. I'm kind of hurting. You can be like, well, we'll level your guys. What is a CR 10 monster? Okay, hang on. Let's have a little fun. And you pull out the deck and you go, you shuffle it up and you... All right. What did you guys find? Who's picking? Huh? Do you, you want to you give... No, you, you don't feel comfortable? All right, what do you got? All right, draw the card. Give me the card. Who wants to roll the D12? All right, well, you got... And again, I do like that they add flavor. So... A thick, heavyweight belt, the buckle of which bears a grim dwarven face, complete with a wo beard wo of woven leather strips. The belt of dwarven kind. There you go. So, uh, I'm probably going to be picking these up because I like decks of cards, and I like other... Just, I like to try to keep all of my D&D &D campaigns fresh. Uh, and when we finish Out of the Abyss, I'm going to be working on a homebrew game. So anything I can do to kind of invigorate the gameplay and add new things to it, I like to do... Whether that's the inspiration cards um, or otherwise, critical hit, critical miss tables, things like that. This sounds like a good way to do it, and I can maybe build a little deck holder for all of them. So, let me know what you guys think. They got 19 days to go. They blew past their stretch goal, 344 backers. They're on a roll. Uh, so, and the price is right. If you only need one, um, if you really like, I don't really know what to give low level adventurers in like the level one to four area. Maybe you just pick up that deck. You know, maybe lo around level 5 and up is where you're kind of like, all right, I know what I want to do, but this is too much for low-level guys. So you, you you pull the deck and you pull a card and you say, okay, that's what you guys get. But, uh, anyway, if you guys do go ahead and back this awesome Kickstarter by Nord Games, if you want to just do me a favor and let them know that Nerd Immersion, Ted from Nerd Immersion, sent you there, and that's why you went and picked these up, just go ahead and type that out or send them a message. You can do that. You can click right here. Um, and contact me and you can send you log in and send them a message here on Kickstarter just you know I'm trying to get stuff out there to help other people out but uh, when people get know that I do these kinds of things it will also you know because sometimes I miss stuff that's why I started doing Kickstarter spotlights in the first place to get the word out there for other smaller time people or to put it out there to kind of my sphere of, of, of fans and viewers kind of let you guys know that these things are going on but if people reach out and let them know that i do these things then they let me know so i don't like this doesn't slip by so anyway guys i hope you enjoyed it and uh i'll see you next time